multiverse. Oh, Jesus. Beyond hate Jungle. No, I would not eat it for the rest of my life. <laughs> I do remember birthday, wedding anniversary, and so on. <laughs> the bartender in a cocktail bar. Hello, my name is Andreas Heinrich and I'm the director of the Center for Quantum Nanoscience here at Eva Womans University. The center is part of the Institute for Basic Science. I'm very happy to meet you. So the research that we do here, single atoms by center, and we want to use single atoms to do something with them. Our goal is to take these atoms, put them next to each other, build structures, and you see if we can use these structures for fancy things such as quantum information, quantum computing, and so on. What's an atom? <sighs> really? <laughs> everything is made from atoms. When you cut everything down at the end, you end up with single atoms. And so the atoms are the smallest thing that you can ever do some engineering with, you can build something with. <laughs> <laughs> the Boy and His Atom is a movie made with atoms. It holds the record as the smallest movie ever made. It's only made with a few atoms. And it tells the story of an atom meeting a boy, and then the atom dances, and then the boy dances, they dance together, they have fun together, they become friends. It took 10 days in the lab to move all the atoms and make the frames. But the whole project, together with all the promotion that went with this, was more on the order of a half year of work for me and for the production team. The initial stage was one, right? So, one. <laughs> sunny. <laughs> In the beginning, the center really started from, from nothing, basically, right? So we slowly started hiring people. I guess after the first year, I mean, we had like 10 people or something like this, right? We were all in a small room, temporary space, not building, right? And now we have 55 people. Nanocomic is a program that we developed for teaching the middle school students in Korean middle schools about nanoscience and also some aspects of quantum science. By this point, we know that at least 14,000 students in Korea, maybe some of you on, me on YouTube, have actually participated in this program. <laughs> not on YouTube. Not on YouTube. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I was born in Germany in a very small town that is only 10 kilometers from the former border between East Germany and West Germany. This was a small town. From there, I moved to a slightly bigger town called Kassel West. I was not allowed to go east. Right? You're not similar to Korea, right? You cannot go to the north. Basically. I've lived outside of Germany for 25 years now. Right? It's a long, long time. But I keep very close ties with one particular friend. His name is Olli. And Olli and I went to elementary school, middle school and high school together. We weren't always friends. Oli is working for a company that makes solar solar equipment. So what is it called? Hold on a second. SMA, that's what it's called. My childhood was actually quite different from what I observe around me here. I wasn't a particularly good student to begin with. I was good in physics and math, as you may expect, right? But I wasn't really interested in getting good grades. I got good grades because I was just talented in this fight. I spent most of my time running around outside in the forest playing with my friends, basically. And I think that's actually very important to, to have that freedom to do this. I was always interested in how things work. If you were to call my mom, she would tell you that I would always always take things apart and I could never put them back together. I wanted to know how does the radio work. So I would take the radio apart and then it comes into a thousand pieces and you can learn something from those pieces but you cannot put it back together. Really, really understand. <laughs> Not too many people really, really understand. Right? In QNS, people understand what we do. Very much. In, in scientific research, if you can always plan what's going to happen, you almost don't have to do the experiments, right? I'm terrible at remembering little things. If you ask my wife, she will tell you I'm terrible at that. There is a really, what is his name? I'll give you the name. I do remember birthdays and, and wedding anniversary and so on. Pyeong Hei Chang I do love Pyeong Hei Chang That's one of my favorites here. Yeah, yes, absolutely. <laughs> no, I would not eat it for the rest of my life. <laughs> That's too much. 
I prefer nature and people. I usually try to spend some time in nature. I love hiking. I'm not the person who goes very much to art museums or ancient ruins or something like this. So, when I came to Korea, I didn't speak any Korean at all. Then tried to make some effort to learn Korean. And then I decided that it's just too difficult and I had to give up. <laughs> I can read Korean, but I can't really speak it. Your hey, Changbok is fine, yes, yes. I couldn't write it though. It's complicated, I remember. <laughs> Double B, so. The, the most different thing about living in Seoul in comparison to all the other places I've ever lived in is there's so many more people here, right? It's much denser, right? So I usually commute by subway and bus. And so, you know, when you go line two in the morning at 8.30, you have to push your way in, right? And that's an experience that I didn't have anywhere else before. You don't have to drive a license. Do have a driver's license, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I don't have a car. <laughs> Before I came to Korea, I lived in California for 18 years. And California has a very strong influence from Mexico, right? And I really, really love the Mexican food that we have in California. And there's some really good taco shops. So my favorite taco shop is in Uchido Saga Station Exit 8. Go find that taco shop. But you have to wait at least one hour. Whoa. Life in Korea is extremely convenient. I don't have to have a car because we have super public transportation system. Right? I can go shopping downstairs from my apartment in a supermarket. I can order things on coupon. They are there the next day. Right? Life could not be more convenient than it is here. Because we were looking at our old life in California and it was perfect. It was very stable, good job, kids were happy. And we said, we cannot do this for the rest of our lives. So we have to do something new. I was looking for, for what the most is to have new experiences here. <laughs> now they do, yes. So Mapo is still very big, right? So it's really Hapchong that is kind of the hometown. It's a fusion restaurant that does Japanese, Korean, and also some French influence to it. I don't know the name of my favorite Kisa Shikdang. It's just here in, in Buka Hyondong. Quite often for lunch, I just go down there and enjoy the kimchi jjigae. Looking forward very much to explore Kenya want to see what that country is like and just learn something new. I have not been to Africa yet. South America I've also been a couple times, but I've never been to Africa. It's time. I love cookies. I love especially Christmas, German Christmas cookies. Mm -hmm. right, and now we're getting close to Christmas time again. So I'm really looking forward to baking. Mostly I bake with my son. I love that. Multiverse. Oh, Jesus. On here? Out of the description of quantum mechanics, the description is very difficult. Multiverse certainly exists when we do our experiments with our atoms on the surface, right? But you cannot just scale this up to humans. Quantum effects don't really happen on the scale of, of humans. To have the right partner to explore things together with. Right? For me, the decision was whether I should study physics or engineering. Right? And in, in the end, for many reasons, I decided to go into physics. But I think I could have also been happy in, the, in engineering. Sportsman, <laughs> painter, no, musician. No, painter, no, musician, no. Okay. <laughs> cocktail, cocktail bar, basically. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'll do. A bartender in a cocktail bar. Most important things, two things. One, ask questions. And the second one, be curious. Don't just accept facts that are given to you, but try to understand what's behind them and make the connections between things. If you're curious, if you ask questions, I think you're on the right track. Come to IWA. <laughs> Come to QNS. <laughs>